Hey there, my name is Stacy, and I'm coming to you from Southern Mississippi. So I just wanted to get on here and explain to some of my friends and family exactly what stocks are and why you should invest in them now. Obviously, a lot of people are struggling and they're having a hard time getting by. So being that the stock market is extra volatile, they may not really want to put any of their money into it. It's definitely a risk, 100% a gamble. Anything that you put money in uh, on a whim because so-and-so said to tr do it <laughs> is probably going to be trendy and it might just drop. So, like, let's just go over what these different things are. Why would you even do that? So certain stocks pay out dividends. And if it's a monthly dividend, that's really good. That means you're going to get money off of it every single month. But most stocks that are fairly steady are, you know, um, like Walmart and, um, they may not always be steady, but right now during the pandemic, those are the ones that they may fluctuate a little bit, but for the most part, they're going to stay pretty, pretty good. And the reason why is because they have it set up so that their employees can take money directly out of their checks and put it into the stock market every two weeks. So obviously, it's going to constantly go up. And unless um, a massive amount of employees are laid off at once, then you're probably going to have a pretty good amount of income where it's going to come up. It's going to keep going up. So what is dividends and why would you want to invest in dividend stocks? So um, the best dividend stocks that I have found are real estate Real estate is, um, you know, it's a market that fluctuates like anything else, but um, basically they pay out regularly, either quarterly, four times a year, or monthly, and, you know, you probably have to have, like, $21,000 in stocks in order to live off of that <laughs> dividends. But, um, you know, that's not really the goal. The goal is just to have some extra money and have some extra income and not be concerned about, well, what, what if I lose my job or what if um, this happens or what if that happens? What am I going to do? Um, so basically, if you want to invest, there's a couple different ways you can do it. Through Ameritrade, you can invest exactly the amount of the stock. But there's a lot of companies that will allow you to invest a portion of a stock. So say you really like Apple, and Apple is the world to you, and you've always been an Apple customer. So you really want to invest in Apple, which Apple's going up right now, so that's a good idea. But um, maybe you just uh, don't have the money to put one full stock in there well there's a lot of places that you can go um, download the app and you can just invest in a small portion of it for example Tesla and a lot of different um, places like that you know you may not be able to afford it and that's why they split the stocks so often so that it's more affordable for the common man you know the middle class the lower class just because you're, you know, you might be struggling with your bills and you might think, well, I really can't afford that right now. But, um, you know, I bet you there's something in your budget that you can cut out that's probably bad for you and take a couple dollars and put it towards a stock. And um, right now there are, there's penny stocks you can look into the penny stocks, but right now everything's so low that when it does, like, especially the travel stocks, 
you know, some of these travel stocks, um, being that I was in the hospitality industry for so mm -hmm. long, <laughs> I, I really, um, I really love doing the travel stocks because um, I've been in the hospitality industry for a very long time and you know eventually it's going to go back up. People are already dying to get out of the house. So all you have to do is, you know, you need to go in and um, look at the ones that are low. Hold on just a second. So you can go to... Alright, I don't even have any service, but... Um, you can go into, for example, you can just look up penny stocks. Or you can just Google stocks that are low. And it will give you a list of stocks that are low. And then what you do is you look at the year to, to date. And you see what the 52-week high is and what the 52-week low is. So if it's really, really low right now, but the high was good, you know, um, I mean, obviously, if you think that the company might go under, you want to do a little research and see what they have done to try to keep that from happening. Some people will go to the bank and get some loans to make sure their company doesn't go over under and some people will um you know just go into other companies and merge things of that nature or sometimes they will just change you know their ways like for example a lot of people right now during covid have had to start you know, doing work from home. People who never, ever had the opportunity to work from home before, now all of a sudden, they don't have any choice. If they want to keep their company open, then they're going to have to change. And whenever they, you know, get past that bump in the road, their, their money is going to start going back up. Their income is going to start going back up. And, um, so that's that's a really good thing to consider um, right now during the pandemic. Anything that you can do to put forth um, money into the stock market is going to help us on our country and our future. And, you know, I was really, um, I graduated high school in 2000 and I put some money into stocks. It wasn't a whole lot of money because I'm not much of a gambler and I do feel like it's gambling. But I lost all that money, and so did my husband. We lost all of that money at 9-11. And, you know, we really never put any money back into it. But um, recently, since everything's low, 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 due to the pandemic, due to so many businesses going under, we, um, you know, there's certain, certain fields that you know they're not going to they're not going to go under. They're, they're going to get a bailout. They're going to get assistance. They're just going to go back up because people can only stay inside for so long. Even if they know that they shouldn't, you know, clearly people are going to do what they want to do. Um, let's just be real. It's only natural to get out of the house and people, you know, are going to do what they have to do not to go crazy. And that's part of getting out of the house. That's why I've, I have invested a little bit of money in travel stocks, airlines, things of that nature. I wouldn't put your last dollar in those. They might go under, you never know, but it's definitely a good idea to look into the ones that, you know, are starting to go back up. And any company that you really love and that you really, um, you have their back, then if they do go under, you know, you won't feel so bad. You won't feel like, gosh, I hated that company. Why did I put so much money into that stock? So Tesla is one of the ones that is really good. Uh, they're, they're trying to help the future. They're trying to make it so that people have internet and 
places like where I live, like as you can see at the top of my screen, it says no service. And I'm just sitting in my bedroom. I can't even get Wi-Fi. <laughs> so um, I come in here to get away from the air conditioner so that you can hear me. But I really planned on using my internet to help me with this video. But I can't even get internet service in my bedroom. So I can't get a signal and I can't get Wi-Fi. So there you go. I mean, there's a lot of companies that obviously a lot of Americans are doing without right now. They may not be able to do their children's schoolwork from their house. I know that when I was a kid, you know, 20 years, 25, 30 years ago, I did not have internet. And my neighbors didn't even have internet. Uh, my grandparents were much wealthier than me and they did not have internet. So only like the very, very rich well-to-do businesses in my town that I grew up in had internet and so you know I learned it at school I learned you know about the internet and a lot of people in my generation absolutely refuse to have anything to do with the internet or web design or newer model cell phones they don't want to be tracked they don't want that technology but, um, but really, it's extremely helpful, you know, in during the Spanish influenza, they did not have the internet. We are so fortunate to have these things that anyone that is trying to help us to better ourselves and, you know, survive the pandemic, whatever you have to do, um, those are the companies that we need to be investing in, such as Apple, Tesla. I really don't like Microsoft that much because, you know, I don't think that a lot of these, the things that they charge for, you know, they, I don't feel like school, children, colleges, and people like that should have to pay for Word and all of these things. I think that it should be free because Microsoft makes so much money that I feel like they can afford it. But um, Google has offered a lot of things, and Google, if you look up Google, I think it's Alphabet, Alpha A-L, Alphabet is, is Google stock. I haven't invested in that yet. Um, I have invested in Plug, which I think is, I, I can't even remember, it's been a long time ago. Um, basically, what I do when I'm looking for a stock to invest in is I try not to purchase the ones that are going way up and way down and way up and way down. You know, you want to purchase the ones that are fairly, you know, they're staying up during the pandemic. They're not dropping down. They're not going super low. But um, like I said, there are a couple that I'm willing to make an exception for, especially in the travel industry. I just, I'm from a tourist town and tourism, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's the hospitality industry that really makes you feel at home when you're on vacation. And I was raised in a tourist town and I just love, I absolutely love how people are in tourist towns. They make you feel at home and they treat you, um, you know, really nice. Everyone, it doesn't matter what race they are. It doesn't matter what culture they come from it doesn't matter um you know any of those things that you, you don't ever hear anybody saying rude things to people that are from out of town when you go to a tourist town you know they're so happy to see you and of course it is because their business depends on it but but the the lifestyle and the um just the genuine caring for others is something that I really miss and you know what locals get a discount in tourist towns and I miss that I really really miss that hospitable nice um and country folks too you know I I, I live in the south now and when you're driving down the road everybody waves to you everybody's nice to you um 
but you know, there's other things that come into play. <clears throat> like you ain't from around here, are you? You know, you would never hear somebody say that in a tourist town. They would feel like, oh, you have a different accent. Where are you from? You know, they would just never say something rude. Like, you ain't from around here. <laughs> they would always just be very happy to see you. And so it doesn't bother me at all to invest my money in companies that are going to help our future and that are going to help tourism grow. Even if I lose that money, it's going to be well-spent money. <laughs> I'm going to know that I helped out some people who genuinely, um, most likely, um, are people. People person. <laughs> you know, people people. <laughs> so that's what I do um, whenever I don't know what to invest in. I try to invest in companies that have our future in their best interests. Um, a lot of, like, my husband, he's a little bit more technical than me. He really, really likes, like, lithium stocks, and lithium is what batteries are made of, and solar panels, and all these, um, as gasoline prices went way low, you know, um, that's also something that is going to go back up sooner or later, you know it's going to. You can invest in that. I think plug is one of the ones that's gasoline or um, some sort of energy. Uh, it has tripled since I purchased it. And um, my husband was like, this isn't moving fast enough. And he went ahead and got rid of his. But, um, you know, it doesn't really matter what it is if it's something that, you know, we really, really need in our future that's going to solidify success in America and other countries. Um, if it's a product that is very dependable, then it's also going to help you. Um, it's probably going to go up. Even if it goes way down and it's really low, um, you know, it's probably going to go back up. So those are the kind of companies that I invest in. Um, I would love to hear in the comments um, how other people choose. I mean, a lot of people just get a broker. They go to a broker and they give a certain amount of investment. And the broker just takes it, takes the money and allocates it however they feel is right. You know, whatever they think is going to go up, whatever they think is going to go down. And... Um, just watching the news, you can kind of tell what's good and what's bad. If somebody gets on there and says, unemployment's higher uh, than it's ever been, then the stocks are going to go down the next day. It, it just happens like that. Um, if, if somebody comes out with some technology that is extremely good for the future then a lot of people are going to jump on that bandwagon. And whenever all the people who've been investing in that for a long time see that, they might take some of that money out. So you might put your money in today whenever, when a stock is going up rapidly. And tomorrow it might be less than it was when you purchased it, which of course you don't want to do that. And then a lot of people, especially... Um, you know, investors are going to pull their money out. They're not going to hold on to something that's going down. Um, but if you feel like you know that that stock is going to go back up, then, um, you know, you can ride it like a wild uh, bucking bronco <laughs> and hold on to it. You know, it's pretty much what I've done with some of my stocks. Um, mine are up now, but it's only like about $75 that it fluctuates, but I chose stocks that I knew were going to be stable. So, you know, choose your battles wisely. <laughs> if you see something that's going up and up and up and up, and you jump on that bandwagon, you might lose it when it goes way, way, way down. But if you choose to purchase stocks that um, you just go in and you pull it up, like say you, you like Hershey's, and you look at Hershey's 
I'm pretty sure Hershey's is one of the ones that, that stays pretty good. Um, I first made a spreadsheet and, you know, I just kind of compared the 52 week high to the 52 week low. Well, now the pandemic, um, you know, has put us in such a bind. It's almost been a year that we've been in this bind. So you might even have to look farther back than one year. 52 weeks is a year, in case you didn't know. Um, so you might have to look back to farther than that. And um, all you have to do on your phone is scroll out or in, I mean, scroll in and it will pull the data. Uh, just look at the line chart. The line chart will show you the most recent data. And if you just scroll your fingers together so that it'll get smaller and smaller, then it's going to go farther back than just a year or however long, you know, it's going to allow you to look at how it did prior to the pandemic. And that's really what you want to look at because, um, you know, scientists are saying it's going to take years for us to get back to normal. But I like to think that um, technology is going to help us get through this. And um, assuming that a lot of people accept it and move forward with it, I know that a lot of jobs that I went to school for, I could not get in my general area right here where I live. I don't have good internet. And I just can't get those jobs, you know, um, I had to stay here first for my family. Um, my mother was ill and I chose not to move away during that time because she needed me. And then, um, you know, my father-in-law fell ill and we took care of him while he had dementia for a long time. And I kind of put my, um, edu you know, my education <laughs> was technology and it, it sort of went on the back burner. Now I am a web designer and I have a bunch of websites and this, this right here, this video is one of my websites. It's called, um, mastering the stock market on Facebook. And, you know, I test it out on Facebook. If it does all right, then I'll make an actual web page for it. And then if it does really good, I'll make a YouTube channel for it. And then, um, you know, that's another way that you can look at stocks and decide whether or not you think it's going to do well. Is, you know, you look at their Facebook, see how it's doing, look at their YouTube channel, see what they're doing. And uh, if they're getting lots of views and they're getting lots of support, then that's a good sign that people are willing to invest in them. And, um, you know, I really wish I could have pulled up some actual information here on my Google, but this is just a really good example of the things that you should invest in during this hard time. So, um, I actually have some work to do around here, but, um, you know, if you have any questions about the stock market, um, I am absolutely not a professional, but I do have a bachelor's degree in information technology and I know how to do research. Um, I can absolutely research just about anything for you. Um, there's so many different types of stocks to invest in. Um, I highly recommend dividend stocks because then you get something back. You know, every month or every quarter or even annually, there's some kind of dividend payout. And if you Google it, you know, they're going to prompt you to purchase this information. But it's there. It's readily available. Just be more specific with your search. You know, um, for example, you might say, okay, Google, um, what is the best dividend stocks? And it's probably going to take you to a web page and they're going to prompt you to purchase it. But if you're more specific, like is Apple a dividend stock or is, you know, or what is real estate dividend stocks, then it might bring back something a little bit more specific and help you to find what you're looking for faster instead of, you know, having to purchase that particular 
website's information. But, I mean, if you have plenty of money and you, you know, it might be worth it to purchase that information, just make sure that it is up to date. Because in today's stock market, with it going up and down and left and right, just crazy, you know, just like everything else, um, you know, right now is, it is very difficult right now to make a decision as to what's going